the witch trials were stopped in America while they were continuing in Europe. So, so why were they stopped in America? And this is where we pointed out, you pick any atrocity you want in American history and just ask the question, why did those things stop? Or how did they come to an end? Or who was leading the opposition against those? And this is where it's interesting because this again is when you look at the witch trials in Massachusetts, why were they stopped? Why didn't we continue with executing witches? And they were stopped largely at the influence of three Christian leaders. Three Christian leaders, the Reverend John Wise, the Reverend Increase Mather, and Thomas Brattle went to Governor Phipps and said, Phipps, what you're doing here in these trials violates the biblical process of due rights. In the Bible, we're told in John 8, you have a right to confront your accuser. You're not letting these people confront their accusers. We're told in Proverbs 18, 17, that one side sounds good until you hear the other. You're not letting them call witnesses in their behalf. You're only letting one side go. You're doing what they're doing in Europe. We came here to get away from Europe. You're doing the same thing. And Governor Phipps looked and said, you are right. And so what happened was they stopped the trials. Samuel Sewell stood up in church the next week and repented in front of the congregation for having shed innocent blood, not following biblical principles on due process. Wow. The governor then called a colony-wide day of humiliation, fasting, and prayer, seeking to avert God's judgment from coming on the colony because they had shed innocent blood. And then the legislature turned around and gave restitution to every family that had had a death, and they exonerated their names and said there is no blemish on it. The trials were all wrong. They were all false. They were all fake. There's been no crime. 